Actor Gary Waldhorn has sadly passed away age 78 on January 10. The actor appeared as counselor David Horton in every episode of the popular sitcom, Vicar of Dibley. 1. It has been confirmed that 78-year-old Gary Waldhorn has passed away January 10, 2022 credit, Alamy. Who was Gary Waldhorn? Gary Waldhorn was a 78-year-old English actor and comedian. He was best known chiefly for his performances in British television and theatre. He studied acting at the Yale School of Drama and graduated in 1967. This is where he notably performed in new works written by playwright Lillian Hellman in 1966. While he was attending Yale, he met fellow student Christy Dickerson, who later became his wife. The couple have one son together, Joshua David Waldhorn, born in 1970 in London. Gary is known for his work in West End theater productions and for his collaborations with the Royal Shakespeare Company. His death was confirmed earlier today, January 11, in a statement from his son Josh. He said, classically trained, it was the theater where he truly flourished and he leaves a legacy of entertainment that saw him frequent the boards of Broadway, the West End and our living rooms on the telly. He leaves behind his two grandsons, Cooper and Bailey and his son Joshua we will all miss him terribly. Who did Barry Waldhorn play in Vicar of Dibley and Brush Strokes? Actor Gary Waldhorn, is best known for playing counselor David Horton in TV sitcom The Vicar of Dibley. He appeared in every episode of The Vicar of Dibley since the show first aired in 1994. He also played Lionel Bainbridge in the first three series of Brush Strokes before the character was written out. What else did Gary Waldhorn star in? Gary's other TV shows included 1980s and 90s favorites such as Lovejoy and Galloglass. He is also best known for his appearances in Escape to Victory, 1981, and Brush Strokes, 1986. His film credits include the roles of Harlech in Zeppelin, Max in Sir Henry at Rawlinson End, and Tornado in The Chain. He was also very active with the Royal Shakespeare Company.